Okay, this is try number two. I'm actually going to be doing like a little YouTube mini documentary on greatest places to live in Strongsville, where I live. And I say it like that because these places are, or not even places to live, just greatest places to go or live in Strongsville. The reason I say it like that is because these places are fucking ridiculous, fucking bullshit, and fucking nasty. All right, one of the things I noticed upon entry is boogers on the table. Are you fucking kidding me? That's fucking disgusting. You know, here, here's the lobby. I mean, I, I get, I get the uh, the whole like bench and pictures and you know, flowers, and lamps, and you know, plants and all that good garbage. Uh, you know, the lamps, you know, don't really have nothing to turn them on. Uh, they're more for decoration. I get that, but why the fuck have that if nobody's allowed in the fucking lobby to sit or take a break or anything? It's bullshit. Anyway, drug haven hallway. By drug haven, I mean there's literally six apartments down there total that two... People in the entire hallway don't do drugs. This is noisy and fire hazard hallway. By that, I mean everybody is loud as all hell. And people like to start fires. Uh, somebody's coming down in the elevator, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Geppetto sounds delicious right now. I think it's because I'm hungry. Anyway, loud ass hallway... Fire hazard hallway. By fire hazard, apparently grease is now edible because the other night some dumbass down there decided it'd be a good idea to cook grease on the stove and fell asleep like a retard. I don't really like to use the word retard because my brother has special needs and in all reality it offends the hell out of me. But that's beside the point right now. Anyway, haters, great, you know, cool. Got heaters in the lobby. Well, if you touch the heaters when they're on, you burn the shit out yourself. Now let's test that theory. Not on. Hmm. 10 degrees outside. Heaters aren't on. That's fucking terrific. Can't really tell because the lot, you know, the lot never gets fucking plowed, shoveled, anything. Because the re-fuck that does it doesn't know how to fucking do it. <coughs> Building number two. Okay. Looks huge. That's beside the point as well. Bed bug infestation started over there last year. Me and my fiancé have been together for four fucking years. And in that four years, I'm not even going to say in the last four years, they'd be being generous. In the last year, there's been about three bed bug infestations in her building because we just let who the fuck ever move in. Building number three. Don't mean to offend anybody, but people over there like to leave candles lit and kill all, the, all their animals and just about everybody else around them because we're dumbasses. Stairs leading up to third floor. Yeah, the, you know, I'm not trying to sit here and nitpick everything, but why have uh, the fucking pillar hanging halfway off the fucking stairs? That totally defeats the fucking purpose. Anyway, this pillar right here. This stupid thing. The pictures down the hallway. The, the pull down for fire, the fire alarm. That's, I couldn't think of the fucking name for whatever the hell reason. Is from like 1928. Probably doesn't work. I uh, probably it, pr it wouldn't work. I'm just gonna go in here for sake of argument. This is the storage locker. Not a tool shed. Let me fucking turn the light on. Not a tool shed. It's it and it, it actually smells like raunchy fucking vagina in here. Again, don't mean to offend anything, anybody or anything, but I mean, this is one storage locker, one storage unit, not even, I wouldn't even call these a locker, 
they're little flimsy fucking pieces of wood here. Let's see how big they are. I mean, garbage. Not not really garbage, but th this is your fucking storage locker. Wow. That's so big. Fucking idiots. I swear to God. They have cracks in the walls. The fucking ceilings are lucky if it doesn't fucking leak. And a snow melt fucking ceilings will leak. On the on the on the top floor, that would be one thing. But nope. It's on the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Which would in essence mean that if the ceiling was leaking, the floors are leaking as well. <sighs> Laundry room. Fucking bullshit. I'm going to shut the doors so nobody can fucking hear me. I posted a video on YouTube actually about 20 minutes ago. Or attempting to upload it to YouTube about 20 minutes ago. Dryer's a dollar. This dryer's a dollar twenty-five. Why? Literally. The, oh, excuse me. Because you don't have to turn a knob on that when it's a dollar twenty-five. I'm sorry. I didn't know that was a difference. Didn't think it would make a fucking difference, but apparently I was wrong. What the fuck? Hmm, nice. That's that's fucking awesome. I actually just found in the laundry room one of my fucking son's onesies. Nice. Dumbass. Dryer. Dollar fifty. Dollar fifty. Dollar fifty. You can go down to the first floor, get a better quality washing machine for a dollar. Oh, I save you. I'm gonna save you a lot of money. Jesus fucking Christ, save a lot of fucking money on your damn own. If you don't even fucking move into this place, this is fucking retarded. Anyway, because I can't get my fiance in the shot. Here, missing something? Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, it, it was lovely. Dryer? No, it was on the floor next to the washing machine. Like I'm kidding. He pooped up his back to what that really was like. Nice. Anyway, let's take the elevator up. Uh, maybe. What floor should I go to? Go to the first one to show you the laundry room. Oh, speaking of laundry rooms, uh, they, if, if you work at all during the day and come home and feel like doing your laundry in the middle of the night, this is what you get. Nothing. It's locked. Why? Because people like to piss and shit in the fucking garbage cans and in the fucking washing machines and the dryers. Which floor first? Yeah, that's on that locker room down there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, locker rooms. That that's that's another funny thing. You want to go into a locker room in the middle of the night just because you can? You get that. It opens. But that's beside the point. You'll find out why that's beside the damn point in a fucking second. Let's go down to the first floor. I'm surprised this place put enough fucking money into the elevators to have an actual elevator built. No, not an actual elevator, just an elevator that fucking works. No smoking. Really? No. Thank you, Captain fucking obvious. Show me out here. Okay, good. I have to whisper because my fiance lives on this floor. Look at that, another fucking fire alarm from fucking 1920. Elevator room. Maintenance people get a storage room. They don't get a locker, they get a storage room. Anyway. Oh, and an electric room. It'd be nice if anybody actually worked in there and or knew how to work this shit. Oh, okay. This, my friends, is the storage lockers on the first fucking floor. Let's see if anything's in here. Oh, there is a wooden pallet in there. Why, I don't know. Whatever. Here's a washing machine. Here's a dryer. Washing machine is a dryer. Really? Or a dollar. Really? Why? And, you know, a little bit of cleaning now and then. Would it be lovely? Uh, fucking what looks like old ass piss stains on there. I don't know what the fuck. Oh, but yeah. Anyway, why I said it was beside the point earlier is because there's laundry this is actually a laundry room on top of a storage locker. They're locked at night. So if you got a storage locker on this floor, good luck getting in it past, you know, fucking, uh, I think it's like 8 o'clock. But even still, that's also beside the point. Anyway, go 
Go down the hallway. Do, 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 do. Let's go back up in the garbage. And up the garbage chute. Over to floor two. I'm actually surprised the fucking button works. The fucking little like bolts and shit holding the fucking elevator together. I feel safe. Oh, look. That one's actually falling off. What else is now? Oh, one of the bolts holding the elevator together. 20 bucks, that doesn't work. Oh. oh, no, I know those work. But 20 bucks, at least there's... From right where I'm standing, I see one, two, three, four down that hallway, and two down that hallway. And I guarantee you only one of those works. Oh, yeah, you know, I, I get that. Heat rises. You know, you got a heater on that we can't turn on in the fucking winter. Oh, yeah, you know, it, it's always fucking cold up here. You know, I, I think it, at one point, and it's only it only gets really fucking cold in the winter because they're, I, they're cheap as all hell here. It's ridiculous. When they went to, oh, wow, they actually did redo the parking lot. Yeah, uh, two years ago. You know, after I got out of jail, they were redoing the parking lots. And by redoing, I mean spray painting them because that's how we do our jobs now. Um, but yeah, yeah you know, you know, I don't know how the hell this was approved. Either that is a fake ass tag. You know, but obviously, there's supposed to be glass here. Obviously, there's not. You know, that's what this fucking thing's for. Great place to live, huh? Yeah, this is, huh? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna nitpick because of how fucking retarded this place is, but I mean, at least uh, you know, cleaning a floor every now and fucking then would be nice. You know, it, it, you know, I don't know what the hell the maintenance woman for this building is. Her problem is, but she hasn't cleaned the floor. And what did you say? Two fucking weeks. Yeah, I, this you, when you get a vacation everywhere I've ever worked, you've only gotten a week vacation. You don't get a two week vacation or two month vacation or whatever the fuck she's doing. She actually lives in that building right the fuck there. You know, can't really see. Let's see if I can actually zoom in on it. Um, may it's a little bit blurry, but you know, guy and what? That's actually the fourth floor he lives on. But the other, the head maintenance guy, you know, one of the, the rules and the, the uh, thing you sign when you sign your lease is you can't have a satellite dish on your patio or anywhere on your property. You can't, I, I know I've said you can't sit in the lobby. I've said that already. Um, can't have satellite dishes. Your patio's He's got trashy. one. Your patios can't look trashy. Head maintenance man's and the maintenance woman for this building who actually lives underneath him, their patios look like absolute fucking shit. I honestly think, you know, no offense if anybody in you know Louisiana sees this, but I think uh, Hurricane Katrina after that tore through your city, I honestly think that looked better than uh their um than those apartments do. This is the type of cars people drive, held together by fucking duct tape here. I, I remember a long fucking time ago when, you know, you, you had to, you know, actually do something with yourself. Fuck them. Let them come in. You know, I remember when uh, you actually had to do something with your life. Now, you, they'll let anybody in here. If they think they can get a fucking dime from them, they'll let them in here. Just because they can. But anyway, either way... That's that pretty self-explanatory. I guess the moral of the story is, if you have a brain and use it, don't fucking move in here. It's garbage. Thank you. Have a nice day.